First, we want broken bones. We want blood. Second, if there is no blood and not broken bones, we want a PTSD, a good PTSD. If you don't have any of those, I began to dupe on the credibility of the allegations to that person. So a way is trying to make a resilience analysis and trying to explain, okay, we don't have symptoms, but we don't have symptoms because there is that psychiatric history, the psychosocial history of the person, because uh, there are those personality characteristics, because the kind of emotions the person felt during the torture were those ones, because there were so and so coping strategies. So what are the subtle elements of trauma? Trauma as an experience that threats your life, that threats your psychological integrity, changes the way you see life, changes the way you see yourself, self-confidence, self-image, sense of control, sense of control in life, the way you manage ambiguous situations, meaning of life, the purpose of life, or your project of life, those are elements which are not in any psychiatric classification. And they are the true core important elements that destroy the life of a survivor. We usually do not make credibility analysis, and that's a very powerful tool because torture very often happens in countries where there are no witnesses, when there are uh, no way to prove things other than the Istanbul Protocol. So we need to try to take advantage of as many things as we can in proving credibility.